Welcome to the race briefing for the Age Group Draft Legal Triathlon at the Pack and Save Triathlon Festival. Special thanks to our sponsors, of course Pack and Save, our title sponsor, Fendel and Eye Clinic, Christchurch City Council and our team of other sponsors. Do note that this is a TriNZ endorsed event and Triathlon New Zealand rules apply. The key rules to be aware of is that drafting is allowed on the bike leg of this event. No aero bars are allowed at all, not even short aero bars. Ensure that your helmet is fastened before you remove your bike from the bike rack and stays fastened all the way until your bike is re-racked after the ride. Please make sure you keep to the left at all times. Some of the slower athletes will be lapped by the speedy athletes, so keep well left to uh, avoid any incidents. And if we do combine the male and female waves together, males can draft off females and vice versa. All selection matters should be directed to Triathlon New Zealand. This event does not have anything to do with the selection process, so please direct all questions regarding selection to Triathlon New Zealand via their website. All rules uh, can be found on the Triathlon New Zealand website, as well as a link on the trifestival.co.nz website, looking under Festival Events and then selecting the Age Group Draft Legal Race. It's also important to note that this is a selection race for the New Zealand team to the World Champs in Australia on the Gold Coast in 2018. Age is taken from the 31st of December 2018. Yes, that is 2018, not 2017, as the championships are next year in 2018. Age groups are broken into five-year categories, and if you finish in the top six in your age group at this event, you are eligible for selection. Providing you finish within 20% of the winner of your respective age group. To be considered for selection in the team, you must submit a nomination form no later than two working days after the event. All these details can be found on the Triathlon New Zealand website. A couple of general rules. Please ensure your timing chip is attached to your left ankle, wear your race number on the front during both the bike and the run legs, and your torso must be covered during both the bike and the run legs. Uh, in terms of the swim course, you may get in the water for a warm-up, but you must exit the swim at least five minutes before your start. The swim is a 750 metre clockwise course, and you must wear the swim cap provided. From the beach, you swim to the first large yellow buoy, which will be off to your left. You make a right-hand turn and swim down the back side of the race course. Uh, there will be another yellow buoy there. You'll turn right and head towards the exit beach, which is next to the bridge. There will be a buoy on this beach to act as a sighter. In terms of the starting procedure, it will be a beach start, standing on the beach between two orange cones, as directed by the swim course director. Note, when you exit the swim, you will join on to the run course and there will be a crossover point as you enter into transition. Swimmers must give way to runners. In terms of safety on the course, there is some weed in the lake to be aware of. Uh, we will have safety personnel on the, on the lake. There will be an IRB and board paddlers as you can see in front of you now. If you are unable to complete the swim course, it's critical that you report to the timing staff by the finish line and hand in your timing chip. Special thanks to Blue 70 for sponsoring our swim course. If you would like a new Blue 70 wetsuit or any Blue 70 products, go into the front runner Columbo, tell them you're doing the race and they will look after you. Onto the bike course, just to reiterate the key rules, uh, drafting is allowed and you cannot have any error bars of any description on your bike. The course is made up of laps of five kilometers, so you will complete four laps of the course. You are responsible to know the course and count your laps. Of 
course there are marshals dotted around the course but ultimately you are responsible to know your way around the course. The bike mount is not until you have run over the bike mount line then you may get on your bike and carry on with the bike course. Just because this is a draft legal race does not mean you can ride erratically all over the course. You must keep to the left at all times and be prepared to stop at any time in case any cars do make their way onto the course. Please be aware on the block that is alongside where the finish line area is, you will be required to ride on the right hand side of the road. When you first enter the bike course after coming out of transition, you'll make a left hand turn on the road that comes off the bridge. At this point, you will need to stay on the left side of the road. When you get to the end of the street and you meet Hodgkinson's Road, you will be turning right and staying on the right hand side of the road. When you turn right into Infinity Drive, again, you are staying on the right hand side road. When you come to the end of that block, you'll be coned to, to merge onto the left hand side of the road on Lakeside Drive. When you come through to perform your extra laps and you come past the finish area, you will verge over to the right hand side of the road to make your right hand turn. Obviously on your last lap you will keep to the left and head to transition. So please ride a few laps of the course when you arrive. It will be coned very heavily, so uh, there shouldn't be too much confusion out there. It is rather narrow, so just be careful. The race start will be split into two waves. The first wave will be all males 54 years old and under. The second wave will be all women and all men 55 years and over. In the second wave, men and women can draft off each other. This does contravene the Tri Z rule, but we have done this for safety reasons for both events. Do note that some athletes will get lapped by faster athletes, so please keep to the left. And if you have been lapped, you cannot draft off the athlete that has lapped you. Uh, athletes in the second wave, some of the tail enders, you may have athletes who are participating in the Pegasus Classic into the course when you are on your last lap. You cannot draft off them. They will have race numbers that are over the number 200. General rules of the bike course, helmets must be worn at all times. You must keep left. Dangerous riding will result in disqualification. Do not remove your bike from the rack until your helmet is fastened and do not remove your helmet until your bike is re-racked after the bike leg. There is no crossing of the centre line. We will be doing our best to stop any traffic whatsoever entering the course but you do need to obey the New Zealand road rules and the road code and be mindful of cars coming out of driveways or somehow getting on the course. So overall, be sensible and common sense prevails on the bike course. The run is made up of laps of 2.5 kilometres around the lake. So for this event, you will be completing two laps of the course. You must stay on the path at all times and please keep to the left to allow athletes to pass you on the right hand side. There will be an aid station shortly after you start the run and at the beginning of your second lap there will be water only available at the aid station. Please be aware of the transition layout. As you will see, the blue line indicates where you exit the swim, you merge onto the run course, and then you enter the transition area. Also note, you will see the yellow line is the run course. When we have runners exiting the transition down the alleyway, uh, they will be crossing with swimmers. This is where you guys may well have some crossover points. As already pointed out, both when you're on the swim and the run, be aware of each other. Swimmers need to give way to runners. We will have marshals there trying to control the situation as best we can. But again, just keep a lookout for each other. We hope you have a great day out there. Keep a smile on your face. And uh, this is the first time we've run this event draft legal style. So please bear with us if there's any teething issues. Remember, if you are finishing in the top six in your five-year age group, you're eligible for selection into the New Zealand team to go to the Gold Coast next year for the World Championships. 
Special thanks to our sponsors, uh, Pack and Save, Fendleton Eye Clinic, Christchurch City Council and our other team of sponsors. We will see you out there on Sunday the 26th of November.